Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, Andrew, we'll be starting in a couple of minutes. We do have a quorum in place, so we'll be moving forward. Give me about five minutes, okay? Is that Miss Crow? Hey, dear, how you doing? Okay, okay. But I'll let, I'm giving you a signal. We'll be starting in about five minutes. Hmm? Good evening, citizens, and thank you for joining us as I welcome you and call this Stonecrest Film and Entertainment Commission meeting to order today, Thursday, September 15th, 2022, at 6.04 p.m. Madam Secretary, would you please do the roll call? Councilman Rob Turner. Here. William Smith. Here. Patrice Deshabere. Berta Watson. Victoria, Present. I'm sorry. Victoria Turner. Stacey Thibodeau. Mac Calhoun. Present. Cassandra Wilson. Present. Sandra Lewis Glass. Leslie Green. Demetrius Williams. Angel Forte. Gaza Forte. We have a quorum. Thank you, ma'am. Let us all stand for the invocation, please. Most Holy Heavenly Father, what a mighty God you are. We thank you for this commission and the servant leaders you've given us to be a covering over it. As we meet this evening, we invite you to be in charge of all that we do. Let our meeting tonight please you and give you glory as we walk in the purpose and destiny you have for this commission. We submit our will and our way to you knowing that your will for us is perfect. Thank you for the gifts, the talents, abilities, and callings you placed in us to bless the citizens of Stonecrest and to create a future that will bless generations to come by the power of your precious Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Next on the agenda is the approval of the agenda. Are there any changes or additions to the agenda for this evening? I'd like to add old business to the agenda. Okay, and under old business, what would you like to cover? We would need to approve our subcommittees. We need to approve the website, I mean the um, email address that we're going to use for our social media. We also need to approve um, our all calls in education, what we're going to do, and also events and activities moving forward. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I also have a couple of changes to the agenda. Uh, under Dr. Kimrow's name and new business states that she is the CEO of our studio. The correction is she is the COO of our studio. And I also like to place on the agenda the appointment of Mr. Monty Ross to the advisory board. So those are the changes I have. Any other changes for this evening? If there are no further changes, the floor is now open for a motion to approve the agenda with the stated changes. I make a motion to approve the agenda for the, um, with the changes. A second a motion. Thank you. The motion has been moved and properly second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor will signify by saying aye. All opposed will signify by saying nay. Madam Secretary, will you please secure the vote? 
Councilman Turner? Aye. Will Smith? Aye. Verda Watson? Aye. Matt Calhoun? Aye. Sandra Lewis Glass? Cassandra Wilson? Aye. The motion has been proved, approved unanimously. Thank you. Uh, the agenda for this evening is set in place. Um, next on the uh, agenda is the approval of the July 21st minutes. Well, we did not have an official meeting, so those minutes were not official, so there will not be any approval of that, so we'll remove that. Uh, right now, we will have public comments. Uh, we have people on this evening that will be speaking to us, but if there's anybody in the audience that would just like to come up and just say anything in reference to the community, any comments you would like to have or share with us about business or anything uh, concerning the Film Commission? Okay. No public comments. I do like to recognize a very, very special person that's here tonight, and maybe she want to say something because I'm going to put her on the spot. Now stop shaking your head, Shelby. Uh, my, 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 my mentorette, uh, <laughs> Shelby, if you would come up and just say hello to, to the public and just thank you so much for coming. This is the executive director of the, of the DeKalb Film Commission. Good evening, everybody. Thank Jackson. you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Dear. I am looking forward to everything that you guys have going on here in Stonecrest, and we support you at the DeKalb Entertainment Film Commission. So um, that's all I have to say. Thank, well, thank you. you. And we're Thank looking you. Forward Appreciate to all the you. Activity. And you have our support as always, too. Thank you, dear. All right. Um, Moving on now, I guess we, we're we going to put, I'm trying to think because there's so many things to discuss with old business in reference to what you're saying. We're going to do something different. We're going to put old business really behind new business. So I'm going to do this this afternoon. We're going to go right into the new business. I want to, first of all, I have Mr. Monty Ross come up to the podium, please. I want to appoint him as a member, our newest member to the Film Commission. I, have a I, I want to read a little something about Mr. Ross. Um, Mr. Monty Ross is a highly acclaimed independent filmmaker who co-produced films with Spike Lee, with whom he co-founded 40 Acres and a Mule Filmworks. Uh, they perfected their film writing and production skills while Spike was enrolled in nearby Morehouse College and Monty uh, continued his, his studies at CAU. Mr. Ross appeared in Lee's master degree thesis film, Joe's Bed-Stuy Barbershop, We Cut Heads. He co-produced many films with Mr. Lee through the 1980s and 90s, including She's Gotta Have It, School Days, Do the Right Thing, Jungle Fever, Malcolm X, and Crooklyn. On returning, I'm sorry, on joining 40 Acres, Mr. Ross became the coordinator for the company's community outreach programs, recruiting interns to assist with the production of Inside Man. In, in 2019, Mr. Ross directed the Opera Game, set in the 19th century in New Orleans, Louisiana. The film won the Filmmaker's Choice Award at the 2019 San Diego Black Film Festival. Since 2017, Mr. Ross has served as the president of operations for Solidified Productions. Currently, he is serving as the filmmaker in resident at Our Studio LLC, a Decatur, Georgia-based film production company that is releasing its first historical that has released its first historical documentary, As If We Were Ghosts. Uh, I would like for us to welcome Mr. Monty Ross as a new member of the Stonecrest Film and Entertainment Advisory Board. Mr. Ross, would you share with us, please? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for having me. And uh, I'm here to uh, humbly serve. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm just here to really serve and, and make things happen. Um, I'm kind of taken aback. But anyway, uh, I'm still a shy guy. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but basically, uh, whatever you need, I'm here uh, to respond to it and, and add to it. And uh, let's go build a very, very viable uh, economic development and uh, film and television uh, division here in Stone. Thank you so much, Mr. Ross. We are very fortunate to have you be a part of us. Thank you for offering your services, sir. Anybody else would like to say anything? Welcome. Okay. Welcome, Welcome, sir. Welcome. We appreciate Welcome. you. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Next on our agenda was Ms. Uh, Dr. Ann Kimbrough, with is the CEO of our studio. She's not here. Is there a representative from Dr. Kimbrough that will be speaking? If not, if she comes later, we'll allow her to say something to us. Uh, okay, next on the agenda is Ms. Dolores Crowell, Executive Director of the Georgia Film Foundation. Ms. Crowell, if you'll join us. As she joins us, let me just give you a little background on Ms. Crowell. 
Ms. Dolores Kroll has been in the Atlanta area for over 30 years working in the fields of public policy, sales, marketing, and governmental affairs while holding several executive and management titles. She's worked with numerous nonprofits and educational institutions, distributing millions of dollars over her 27-year career with both Bell South and AT&T. Currently, she serves as the executive director of the Georgia Film Foundation, whose mission is to leverage the social and economic force of Georgia's film industry to promote education and training programs and develop a film industry ecosystem in the state of Georgia. My great pleasure to bring to you Ms. Dolores Crow. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. Well, you definitely are. Usually people good, say Crow well. So you. You sent, you're doing good. But thank you for the invitation and the opportunity. Do you, have some, do you have something that you need to show on the screens or you're fine? No, no. Okay. I, 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 we, I just completed a little um, pamphlet that we're um, sending out to the folks in hard copy and on our website. Um, but as you stated, um, I am the executive director of the Georgia Film Foundation. And we're a really, I would say, an immature organization because we've only been around for about a year and a few months. Um, the foundation was founded by um, our founder, Ryan Millsap, um, who was the primary developer of Black Hall Studios, which now we know today as Sh uh, Shadowbox. Uh, I met Mr. Reinhardt during a few um, lobbying efforts because by, I guess, trade or skill, that's what I do. I'm a lobbyist. And we talked a little. I was still working for CEO Michael Thurman at the county at the time. I left the county um, after doing 27 years at AT&T and four years at the county. And I met him, and we started talking about his desire to expand the footprint uh, in Georgia for film production, but equally as important, the reason and mission of the Georgia Film Foundation is to grow the workforce um, in the film industry in, in Georgia. We have a lot of um, training opportunities and facilities that produce uh, primarily below the line training. And um, we've done a great job with that, with working with Lee Thomas and um, the Georgia Film Academy. But we also know that uh, time is money and studios want to move quickly. They want to be, uh, very um, fast paced. And in order to do that, you need a skill and trained workforce. Um, so what we, what we started looking at was, you know, what happens? Right now, Georgia is like the production site. So we're kind of like the sausage maker. You know, folks come in, they bring their talent, they exercise the up to 30% um, tax film credit that they get. And then they roll up the carpet, get back on the planes, trains, and automobiles that got them there. And then the distribution occurs um, in L.A. and New York and other locations. And so our goal is to not only support and try to train and develop that ecosystem in Georgia in terms of film, but we also want to be able to say, Studio X, Y, and Z, whoever you are, we need you to reinvest in Georgia and reinvest in training so that we can be more of a turnkey operation, keep some of that distribution dollars here, and also develop and, and kind of finesse the above-the-line talent because we don't have a lot of content producers here that get the exposure and experience that they need. And so what we've done first is we decided we wanted to work with local film entities because it's, I always am a strong advocate of, you know, it's hard to go out and ask people for money outside of your state and your own folks not supporting you. So we went to uh, all the, lo the, the major film studios here, as well as the small and medium-sized um, um, production companies. And our first one was uh, Black Hall Studios. So they came on as a, uh, a founding member. We also have um, Gray TV, and I'm sure you all know that they're doing a large um, production facility at with Hilton Howe off of the uh, 285. Um, we also have Wayne Overstreet from Go Media. You probably know him. Um, we're working with uh, Dan Caffey from uh, Trillist. And um, we also have Swirl 
um, assembly um, studios, as well as um, trying to remember the other one. It'll come to me. But the main point is that I, we feel comfortable that we have, um, oh, and we're talking um, with Tyler Perry Studios as well. And so we feel comfortable that we've, done, we've got like our home cooking done first. And so now we're talking to production companies in L.A., um, the Disney's, the Warner Brothers, the Sony's, because what we're saying to them is, that's great. You come here, we're the production hub, but what we need you to do is reinvest in Georgia and try to leverage that 30% tax credit that we're giving to folks. And they've been very receptive. And um, in the interim, we also um, support local school systems. I'm happy and proud to say, as a citizen of the cab, that uh, the first competition. Well, it wasn't even actually a competition. It was a grant approval that we had. Uh, went to DeKalb County Schools. And uh, normally with high schools, we're doing probably about a five to $10,000 grants we're doing to support specific projects and initiatives. But because of the uniqueness of, of uh, DeKalb County and, and all the 12 cities, and I know them all because I worked for five years as the um, government affairs director in DeKalb for CEO. So I'm very familiar with the formulation of DeKalb and all the cities. And we went uh, and tried to touch every school that had a, a, a film program in DeKalb. And I have to tell you that we were limited. We were limited. Um, when I compare that to uh, the number of inquiries and requests we got from other counties, which I thought was strange because most of the film production is happening here in DeKalb. So what we did was we, um, we took 17 students from area DeKalb County high schools. We um, shipped them out to California and they participated in a four day seminar. I'm, I'm sorry, a competition with other high schools. Um, and they did great. And we were proud as a foundation to be able to do that and to, to have a city, to have a location and a school system in DeKalb to be the first official sponsor that we've had. We also work with Reimagine and some other training institutions, and we provide um, small to medium-sized grants. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and um, please visit our website. We'll be having some. Uh, announcements over the next few weeks about more um, opportunities for people to be engaged. And thank you for having me. Thank you for being in. That's quite a story, too. Thank you. Don't go anywhere yet. Are there any questions or any comments you'd like to make to Ms. Crow while she's here? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, if, if you had a wish list of uh, three items, what, what would that wish list be as far as your vision uh, working in, in collaboration with the Stonecrest Film, Fest, Film uh, Commission? Okay, I have to say that I'm very happy you narrowed that down to the Stonecrest Film Commission <laughs> because um, I am as immature as my organization and I'm not totally familiar with everything that you do. This is why this meeting is, is, is important for me to learn and grow um, with you. Um, but I guess not having three, my number one thing would be to learn and grow and help wherever I can with Stonecrest. Um, like I said, those years I spent in DeKalb, you know, I mean, I even worked on the IGA for the city of Stonecrest. So I'm, I'm very familiar with what you do and what your untapped potential is here. And I'm actually excited to see what the Georgia Film Foundation can, can do to help you grow. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Again, Ms. Crowell, thank you so much, and we're looking forward to a wonderful partnership and a collaboration with you and how we can help one another grow and be very successful in our areas and fields. Uh, next on the, uh, yes, sir. Well, no, but since you've come that far, come on up. <laughs> All right. Great, great. great. Okay. My name is Mario Shirley. I'm the president and founder of Ups and Downs Entertainment. And we have a new platform that's based here um, in Atlanta, in the Atlanta metro area. 
called Project Selena. We are uh, uh, a new digital platform for music, TV, and film, reaching over 1.7 billion uh, consumers. And we strictly focus on c creators of color. We provide funding, distribution, marketing resources, um, all that you could possibly imagine that young uh, film creators and TV uh, creators would want. And we're happy to uh, you know, be here, represent it. Uh, we're getting ready to launch in the next couple of weeks with Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. And we would love to support your organization in any way that we can. Thank you, sir. Your name again, sir? Mario Shirley. S-H-I-R-L-E-Y, -S -S just like the girl's name. Now, now, Mr. Shirley, if you would, could you just go over to our city clerk and give her your name and information sure. so we can contact you and, and uh, get back with you with some information? Absolutely. Thank you, sir, for coming. Appreciate your comments. Any other public comments before we continue? Okay. This is a very informal meeting. They, we're in and out, so with uh, the formalities of what we're doing. But I'm, I'm, I really appreciate people coming forth and sharing their, their gifts and talents and their businesses and things that can be a benefit to the city of Stonecrest and the Film Commission and how we can also be a benefit to you. Uh, next on the agenda is our newest family members that we've adopted and that we're very excited about. I see two of those members in the back, and I'd like to have uh, the uh, COO of this new family uh, uh, that we have, Dr. Ann Kimmerer, will come up here and speak to us about the great things that's happening with ours studio. So we are very excited about that. And I also like to just recognize the CEO, Mr. Ron Bivens. If you would, sir, just stand up and say hello to us. We appreciate you being here. Thank you, sir. Save me. So I did roll deep. Good evening, everyone, members of the commission, those who I know from all walks of life. You are not George Turner. You are not over there, but well, Mac, that's, Mac doesn't even have a name. We apologize for our lateness, but we wanted to make sure that our sister Crowell went first because we were locked out. But we felt that was a good opportunity to look around the Stonecrest okay. City Hall and look for some good site selections. Okay. My name is Ann Kimbrough. I am the COO of uh, the newest kid on the block, Ours Studio. Ours Studio. That's our website, ours with two S's in the middle, studios.com. Uh, we would like for you to check it out because as of today, we launched our uh, actual rates. Our rates are on the website. We have been visited, including at this very moment, by a wonderful group of, I would say, superstars, people that are in our business in different ways. And they would not let us leave. We had to run out of there to get here. And then we realized that traffic was, was the Cap County. Much like Ms. Crowell, and I'm so glad that I actually followed her, uh, in this regard, we both have had the DeKalb County experience, government experience. We appreciate everything that you do as a film commission because prior to my departure, when, I, when it was at the end of an elected term uh, for a certain CEO, we were starting and we were in the business of beginning a film study, as Mac, you remember, and all of the work that's put it, been put into it. It was a pleasure to retire from Florida A&M University as dean uh, of the School of Journalism and Graphic Communication to come back to DeKalb County to retire. But the, thanks to Ron Bivens, the uh, air quotes are there on retire, but to find out that there is a film commission at the city of Stonecrest actually is taken hold. I was part of the Arabia Mountain um, study that we did and also the actual bond referendum. So it's a pleasure to be back in Stonecrest. And we are intentional, as Ron will say, that we're here in Stonecrest. I will be brief and be gone. Since you said it's informal, uh, Mr. Chair of the Committee and Mr. Turner from Florida State University and other film schools thereof, um, we have been moving very fast, keeping our head down. We haven't had a chance to network as much as we'd like to because we have been growing at incremental rates. And by the way, how can I forget our filmmaker, Monty Ross, who's already starred before this show, is here, as well as Dennis, our best editor in the world, our VFX editor is back there too. We rolled deep. We didn't know who, what, we, what to expect. Um, we've kept our head down. We've worked very hard. And 40 days from now, on October 25th, we will be one year old. And in that, in that time, we have developed a boutique film production facility. I see Mr. Uh, Economic Development Director. We have been checked out. Our wheels have been looked at. We, they've kicked the tires. You all have been very gracious to come by, to send individuals by, to check us out, to make sure we are a solid organization. Number one, we have to be, if we're here in Stonecrest, the movie city of Georgia, 
Um, number two, we also have uh, released our very first documentary on June 13th with a uh, follow-up on June 19th, Juneteenth. And we're very happy to say that in the 3.4 million households in Georgia, where Georgia Public Broadcasting broadcasts, we know that our market penetration was better than 90% uh, for those that had our, had our show on at least once. And more importantly, we are now streaming on Amazon Prime. Yes, we have on there, when you look at the little uh, description, Stonecrest based our studio debuts this movie. We also are in the UK on the Pizzazz uh, streaming channel. Uh, As If We Were Ghost is the name of our production, and that is a metaphor in many ways for not being seen, being invisible, not being around, uh, just not being seen. And we, and we talk about black athletes, coaches, cheerleaders, and band members who during the segregated Georgia, of which it was a tough period for many people, emerged a wonderful group of athletes, coaches primarily, who have made it to the big leagues in many ways. But many of them are unknown. But when you watch the documentary, which is a drop in the bucket of our vault of our library of what we have. And by the way, I want to say thank you again, Mac, for your contribution to the writing. He, he wrote some pieces years ago that have come to fruition. So I thank you for that. And thank you, Ms. Cassandra, for all of your contributions, too, for helping us get our act together a little bit before she went back to teaching. So this movie has taken on a life of its own, and we are distributing many shorts uh, from the vault. And those, and those are available on us as if we were ghost.tv. It's the movie is still free. And, but when you get beyond that and you want to see the little shorts and find out more about the kinds of things that a Bill Curry, that a Charles Freeman and others would say, you get a chance in Hank Aaron and Andrew Young and others who uh, recorded part of their, most of this was recorded in Ron Bivens, who you've introduced, acquired the library from the Georgia Public Broadcasting and we finished it in a different way than Questlove did, but we still had half of a documentary or more. So where we are today is we are very hungry and interested in all of the things that I've even heard prior to my presentation. We are um, finding that investors are interested in what we're interested in. We've had, we've hosted already major um, productions and uh, I think Mr. Turner was there on a really, really busy day for someone. We've been fortunate to have, and you can check our uh, social media, we've been fortunate to have the likes of Richard Williams, who of course is the father of Venus and Serena Williams, and the list goes on and on and on, including today. So you'll see some folks today. But in closing, I'd like to say that we are excited to be the new kid on the block. We are offering educational opportunities in partnership with our 15 other movie studios in this small but effective footprint known as Stonecrest. We have a lot of square footage, as many of you all have seen, in two different locations. We're very proud of our prop shop. We are, Sandra's going to hear for the first time, we are, yes we are, uh, moving some of the products out of our prop shop. So we do have opportunities for schools uh, and businesses to take advantage of a very a, a fire sale, if you will. And last but not least, we, we are here today because of the name, ours. That is not just a name to make it cute. It's a name that actually Ron came up with, and we have the acronym to it. But really, we really believe what is ours is yours, and what's yours is ours. Uh, we want to build, and we do have collaborative, creative space in this marketplace. And we know all of the big names, all the big studios were named, and we are partnering with some of them. Rusty, our across the street neighbor that just finished up with Hulu, and that's um, some of the big, um, some of the big, big folks. But we are proud that we are a boutique studio available to the community. Uh, we have rules and regulations, but you can get inside. We don't have any buffers to keep you out. And we appreciate all that Georgia has done. And we appreciate those in the room and what they have done and what you all have done to ensure that we have a great community and one of growth. And we have big news to come and we're just waiting uh, when, till, when we're able to announce that. Thank you. I'm, a, I'm so good. That is all that I have to say. Again, we want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts, the top of our hearts, and all around.
Well, Dr. Kimber, on behalf of the Film Commission, we are so, so grateful to have you. Thank you for choosing Stonecrest to make it your home, and thank you for the great things you're doing. I've seen as if we were ghosts, and it's, inc it's an incredible piece of artwork. Thank you for that, and yeah. continue to move forward in that. And you know you have our support, our commitment, and anything else we could do to, to, to strengthen, to empower, to do whatever you need us to do to make our studio one of the top studios in the state. Not only the state, in the country, whatever we could possibly do. Anybody else would like to say anything? In reference to Dr. Kimbrough? It's seen you, Dr. Kimbrough. <laughs> nice seeing you. I know we're nodding our head. We're just doing all that. <laughs> Cassandra, no, no question. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for you. Thank you so much for your contribution. Thank you very much. And we look forward to continuing to work with you. And thank you for not asking me about the top three, <laughs> Mac. <laughs> My excuse from the podium, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Thank you again, Dr. Cameron. Thank you. Next on our agenda, we will have, uh, I guess, one of the newest kids on the block and reference to staff for the city of Stonecrest, our new economic development director, Mr. William Smith, who will come in and talk with us about uh, a company that's working with us. And anything else you'd like to share in reference to the strategic plan for the city of Stonecrest Film Commission? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, first, I'm going to make one housekeeping announcement. Our uh, director of communications wanted me to note that a press release did go out uh, this week or last week for uh, road, oh yeah for the road closures um, along Woodruff, right outside of New Birth. Uh, we did have some, some intensive film filming there. There was a road closure, so I just want to. Make note for everyone here and everyone in TV land uh, to pay attention to those press releases when we have those intensive uh, road closures. Um, to our strategic plan, we have a consultant under contract uh, in the name of Sound Diplomacy. Uh, they will be undertaking uh, our strategic plan for our commission as well for the entire city of Stonecrest. Uh, I'm going to go through not the entire scope of work, but I want to highlight some aspects of it that I feel are very important. Uh, but we have uh, initiated our project initiation document. Uh, we will be kicking off very soon, and I'll, I'll make note shortly of the, the kickoff meeting for the, um, the entire community and stakeholder group. Uh, one of the, the interesting and, and vital parts of this, the scope of work that they will be undertaking, uh, at, which i like to highlight, is the ecosystem mapping. Now, what that really entails is that they will be mapping all relevant data and assets related to film entertainment in the city of uh, Stonecrest and probably outside. Uh, that's important because, and one of the things that I will be pushing them for is I want uh, our strategic plan to focus on uh, the influence, the support of the content creator. Uh, what I've seen in other cities and throughout Georgia is that we've done, uh, I guess, film has turned into a workforce development project. Uh, and, and in that, uh, we have invited New York and L.A. into our backyard, but we are training up our youth to get jobs in, in those industries. Uh, we want, for the sake of Stonecrest, to flip that script just a little bit. And, and one of the ways we, we intend to do that is to find ways to uh, support the creatives, because what we have uh, devised is that the creatives actually run a lot of the industry. And so when a creative person either writes a script or, or do a digital content, uh, they oftentimes have the wherewithal to dictate or to, to influence who the production companies are and what that staff looks like. And I, I, I want to borrow, and I, I want to use uh, Ms. Sa uh, uh, Ross for a brief example. He uh, was gracious enough to uh, regale me with stories of early days of him and Spike which is uh, one, of the, one of the influences I, I, I borrowed from. And so in one of his, his, his tales of how they came up, uh, they worked on several projects in their early iterations, and they had uh, some of the same production staff. By the time they got to, uh, I guess what they would say, the, the, the full-blown essence of what they wanted to do creatively, that production staff, who they had been working with for several movies at this point, was uh, fully engrossed in what they wanted to do and how to do it. And they knew uh, Spike and they knew his creative process so well 
that it was second nature. And so by that time, the product was beautiful, it was, it was polished. And so that's really an example of what we want to recreate here is really an intact attack the creative process, support that creative process and those creatives, and then let them find their kind of guild, if you will, of production people that will learn and, and work with them all the way up to be a, a elite professional. So that's some of the things that we're trying to pull out of the strategic plan. We're going to be pushing sound diplomacy to unearth the assets that are necessary. We have a lot of assets in this room today. And what we're, what we're saying to you and what we're saying to them is you're all part of that process. You're all part of that ecosystem. There's a place for you in Stonecraft. And lastly, what I'll say, and I'll, I'll uh, dismiss myself, um, the kickoff meeting for Sound Diplomacy and for our community and for the, the larger community uh, will be next Tuesday, uh, September 20th. It will be at 9 a.m. The reason for uh, our early break special, if you will, uh, is because uh, a large part of their staff is coming from London. But we want to be able to make sure that they are Zoomed in uh, and you know, they're, they're still awake. Uh, but we were asking our, um, our stakeholders and our committee to be present uh, in person uh, upon the advice of council. But we, we're asking the larger community, people here in this room who are not formally a part of that, that commission, to, to attempt to tune in uh, via our live stream and be a part of that conversation as well. Thank you, Director Smith. Any questions for Director Smith? Any comments about any information that he shared with us? Okay, thank you. Any other information you want to share? Are you good? I'm a, I'm a thing. I'm a okay, appreciate you. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, now, as I said, we had adjusted the agenda, and now we're going back to old business. Um, first of all, I would like to thank all our presenters. Thank you so much. I don't know whether you will stay with us this evening or not for a few more minutes, but thank you so much for coming and sharing your vision and your commitment to be a part of what we're doing. We are so excited to have. We know that we cannot do it without you. Uh, the 10 members of, uh, that we have uh, is just 10 members, but we need that structure. We need that infrastructure, and we need your talents, abilities, and callings to make us that great film commission and make this city a great film city destination. Uh, with your with your commitment and your dedication to be a part of that, so thank you so much. Are there any other comments in the audience before we go on into I guess our old business here? Okay, if not um, old business now, if you would, uh, Secretary Wilson, if you would start sharing with us in reference to the old business that you put on the agenda. Yes, um, these are items that we need to have a formal quorum on. We need to approve our subcommittees, which includes social media, events, slash planning, volunteers, marketing, education, sponsorship, community engagement. We also need to approve what items, what marketing items we're going to purchase. We also need to discuss and approve what email address we're going to use for our social media sites. We also need to talk about the all calls and classes that we plan to offer, as well as um, activities, partnerships, and I think that is it. Okay, well, let's start with the first. You said subcommittees, am I correct? What are those correct. subcommittees again? The subcommittees are social media, events, volunteers, marketing, education, sponsorship, community engagement. Okay, the floor is now open for a motion to approve the subcommittees as submitted by Secretary Wilson. I make a motion to approve the subcommittees. A second a motion. Thank you. It has been moved and properly second to approve the subcommissions, uh, committees, I'm sorry, as mentioned by uh, Secretary Wilson. Is there any discussion? If no discussion, all in favor will signify by saying aye. All opposed will signify by saying nay. Madam Secretary, will you please secure the vote? Councilman Turner? Aye. William Smith? Aye. Patrice Deshaber? Aye. Verda Watson? Aye. Stacey Thibodeau? Aye. Matt Calhoun? Sandra Lewis Glass? Aye. And Cassandra Wilson? Aye. The motion has been unanimously uh, passed. So we will get these subdivisions, I'm um, subcommittees in place. I'm confusing my meetings. I'm thinking I'm on the council now. I'm sorry. These subcommittees in place and uh, move forward with them with appointments of Chair people and uh, responsibilities of these committees. What's next on your old business, 
Secretary Wilson? Um, marketing. Sorry. Say somebody emails or something. Didn't you? We can t discuss that. Um, so we were going to move forward with our social media, but we needed to have the correct email address because they're all connected to an email address. So we didn't know if we had one from the city of Stonecrest or were we just to create one or how were we to move forward? That was something that we needed to really know from you, William. I will communicate that with our communications director to make sure that we set aside a dedicated email for the commission as well as the social media. Right, and that would also include a logo, own logo, or would we be utilizing the city's logo? Is that something you need to talk about? Okay. Um, the last meeting, we approved a logo. Did we? We did. We have our own okay. logo, and okay. it was... Um, it's pretty much the same colors as Stonecrest. It just has film. Um, it has some film and entertainment commission and a film strip in it. So, I mean, that was approved. We just need to know how to move forward. So, since it's approved, we need maybe a template and that may dedicate funding to getting print, making sure it's placed on the proper documents or um, any other paraphernalia. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, All right. I don't think we need to vote on that. I think we're good with that. We're good on okay. that. Um, he's mentioning of paraphernalia. That was the next thing, the marketing. Those were the items that I mentioned at the last meeting um, where we talked about the prints, I mean the um, mugs, the um, stress balls, the hand sanitizer, the mask, uh, T-shirts, pencils. I believe all of that was approved. We just need to approve the vendor. And we we couldn't approve it because nobody we didn't have a quorum. Oh, okay. So I mean, roughly um, when I did it, it was we had it was at the end of the year, so I was trying to spend all the money, but I can get it down to about twenty or fifteen thousand dollars. And that included T-shirts for all of the committee, for every committee member, as well as additional T-shirts, so that when we do have um, activities or special guests, that we can give them a shirt as a parting gift, and when we have other activities. Okay. Well, in our budget, we do have a line item for marketing, and that would fall under the marketing uh, component. So um, you said it's about approximately fifteen to twenty thousand. We'll just leave that open. Okay. Reference to what our budget is. Okay. okay. Uh, so now the floor is now open for approval then of the paraphernalia that that we had, that uh, um, Secretary Wilson had submitted to the commission. Uh, is there a motion to approve this? I make a uh, motion to approve the paraphernalia. Are we? Are we no, we're not approving the vendor. That's the paraphernalia that we want to. I'm sorry. You make a motion that? to approve the paraphernalia. The purchase of paraphernalia? The purchase of paraphernalia for Stonecrest City. Second. Thank you. It has been moved and properly second to approve the paraphernalia uh, for the Stonecrest Film Commission. Uh, any discussion? If not, all in favor will signify by saying aye. All opposed will signify by saying nay. Madam Secretary, will you secure the vote, please? Councilman Rob Turner. Aye. W William Smith. Aye. Patrice Deshaber. Aye. Verda Watson. Aye. Stacey Thibodeau. Aye. Matt Calhoun. Sandra Lewis Glass. Aye. And Cassandra Wilson. Aye. It has been approved unanimously, so we will go forth and uh, submit the information to, I guess, Mr. Mr. Smith, who we have submitted to you in reference to what we want, in reference to our budget items that we want to purchase. All right. Thank you, everyone. Uh, next on your agenda. Um, all calls education slash education. I know uh, Ms. Watson. We had talked about, um, I guess, uh, overall general intro of entertainment. Um, and then I think we also talked about casting again. And we also talked about, was it? Um, locations. Locations, yes. Um, locations and um, casting. Um, PA. Yeah, and then the I want to add the business of this business because so many people do not know this business and they are getting ripped off or given the runaround. And even following up with that, the creative side, 
um, telling stories, writing scripts. We need to, you know, actually yes. pass us on that I as well. I totally agree. Okay, understanding we only have a few months, a couple of months left in this year. Which ones are we looking at to possibly put in place before the year's out? I would say we start, since we haven't had an all-call in two years due to COVID, that we open up an all-call um, just about an overall view of what we have to offer here. And then we start with maybe the um, uh, production assistant, and then maybe go into the, or maybe the business of business first. And then the production assistant, either one. I think, like you said, overall, I think people need to understand what the five phases of production, production is. Are. Yes. Are, are. You know, you have your development, you have your pre production, production, post production, and distribution. So I think people need to understand the whole aspect of film or television. What do you, you know, how do you get started? things like that so what goes where right and then we can also follow up um, with one on music as well um, I um, spoke briefly with J5 a while ago and I know that he would be on board he is the southeast president of the Grammys mm -hmm. I'm sure he would be and he lives in Stonecrest right yes he does mm -hmm. I've been trying to get him to come but he's traveling I think he's in London right now if I'm not mistaken mm -hmm. Okay, any other suggestions? Other um, than if we can, throw in maybe a screen on the green somewhere. and um, You know, you there's know. one next Saturday, a week from Saturday, but okay. What, um, with the, the mayor. mayor. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You can have I two. think we um, when we do our screen on the green, it would be a little different from mm -hmm. the mayor's screen on the green. Okay. Because we like to invite some of the cast and some oh, of the... Wow. Um, Okay. The, the makers of the movie. So, okay. you know, cast and conversations. And you think we can do this before the end of the year? We only have a couple of months. Or you want to let it that something for 2023? Like 2023, but we okay. still need to put it out what we're yeah, going to that's do. That's fine. So we can get it we'll have a list of uh, activities and events we'll be looking at uh, for 2023 also. So, if I'm to understand, and again, other comments come in, please, in reference, do you have any ideas? Or um. No, I totally agree. I think the overall introduction and then um, breaking out into the PA is first and foremost because that's the most readily available job for anyone looking to break in. So, yeah. Thank you. Mac? I concur with that. Okay. All right. Um, we also want to start up, uh, up with our Christmas um, event. So uh, I know that the city usually does a Christmas concert. Mm -hmm. So this year we need to plan ahead so that we can go ahead and do uh, the toy giveaways like we wanted to okay. in the past. Um, so we are in September, so we have enough time to kind of get that together. Okay. Um, I also want to put uh, out there a summer concert series, summer concert slash food truck series. Great. Um, I know we talked about that before. Right. Um, we yeah. also wanted to do a catering and uh, a catering all call, all yeah. call again, mm -hmm. and have like uh, vendors, food trucks um, to come out. Right, be well. great. Okay. Uh, now you call this what the five phases of development? Is that what you call it? Production, five production, development. Production. Okay, so that would be our event for 2022. Our next event. Intro. Do you have a timeline that you think that we could possibly put that together? I mean, we, we have it together now. We got it together, okay. <laughs> this is what we do. But okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, it's just well, a matter me, of Give what me the day time, then. Give me the day. Give, are you available to give me a date now? Do you need to look at your calendar and get back? That'll give us some time, November maybe. Okay. All right. And we can believe it or not, this month is almost over. <laughs> it We're is. in the half. It mm -hmm. is. Okay. All right, so let's first, let's vote on the, the event itself, and that's going to be the five phases of uh, production. Is that what we said? If you would, Ms. Uh, uh, Vice Chair uh, Watson, if you would make that motion, please. I make a motion that we um, conduct a five phases of production, all call or class, class information type meeting. Can I have a second? I second that. 
Uh, discussion just for a moment. I, I see Ms. Tibbet over there. I, I didn't ask you. Are you have any comments or anything you'd like to share about the event? Any uh, events coming up? Uh, no, I, I'm so agree good? with what everybody has said. Um, when we initially started out, as, as was already spoken about um, pre-COVID, we did start out with that, uh, with an all call about how to get started um, in the film industry. And it, it did draw quite a number of people. But fast forward two years, I think it is appropriate to go ahead and do that one again. Uh, I'm totally in agreement with the catering all call that there's a lot of interest of people in the city and outside the city who want to know how to do business with the, with the city, yeah. um, with, with, the, with the film industry, with catering. So okay. definitely in agreement with that. Yeah. Is that Ms. Forte? On the phone? Uh -huh. Ms. Forte, come on up here and sit down. Okay, you're part of the uh, commission, please. And I want to get your response. I couldn't tell with the mask. <laughs> I thought it was you. I didn't see your husband, so I wasn't sure. But you have any comments in reference to uh, what we're talking or any contributions? <laughs> that, that's the way I am with my wife, believe me. I, I'm Mr. Vicky. That's uh, the way I am. Uh, oh, we need your mic so the people that are up to get home could hear you. When considering the five stages of production, is it just the theory of how it's all put together, or are you guys going to talk about some of the additional components that go into it, like, um, for instance, camera work or the audio work and things like that? Is that also a piece of it? Like, is it going to be workshops or just like a main stage? So with the intro of the five phases is really to kind of introduce, because a lot of people say, oh, I want to work on film, and then they don't understand how it actually works. So we're just going to introduce to them the five phases, and then after that we will have a more in-depth class. So one might be camera, one might be catering, one might be casting, one might be wardrobe. Um, and I wanted to add locations as well. Um, so. But ours would be a basic intro and then, you know, have people from the business come also be a part of that along with us. And so also kind of make it a networking se session for them as well. So that once they've learned a little bit, then they can network with whom whomever is there. Thank you. Listen, uh, sp speaking of networking, I think it is important that we try to leverage some of the participants that are in this meeting today to make sure that we Absolutely. collaborate with since they are interested enough to come and uh, partake of this meeting, they also should have a, a stakeholder as far as what we're doing. Absolutely. Thank you. We definitely want them to be a part of it. Our studio, the DeKalb Film Commission, uh, the Film Foundation, all the people that are here represented today would love for you to be a part of what we're doing. That's why we're doing this today. So we thank you for that. Any further discussion? I know in the past for locations, we also um, talked about how uh, a person could put their home on the market. And I know, I don't know if they still have that um, TV, but, you know, how to, to put mm -hmm. their home on the market for people to come in and film at their home. So that's another thing that um, City of Stonecrest um, residents need to know and the community needs to know. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, if not, um, the motion has been moved and probably second. All in favor will signify by saying aye. All opposed will signify by saying nay. And again, the motion was to uh, have a five-phase production development call, all call. Am I correct? Okay. Uh, if you would, Madam Secretary, secure the vote. Councilman Rob Turner. Aye. William Smith. Aye. Patrice Deshabere. Aye. Verda Watson. Aye. Stacey Thibodeau. Aye. Matt Calhoun. Sandra Lewis Glass. Aye. Angel Forte. Aye. Cassandra Wilson. Aye. The event has been unanimously approved, and so we will set a date and time uh, for this event to happen. I'm excited about it. I know it's going to be a great success. Uh, anything else, Secretary Wilson? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> any discussion on any other activities or anything else you would like to discuss in reference to the Film Commission or anything that you heard this evening with our guests before I conclude the meeting? Yes, I definitely want to talk about something we talked about a while back when we first started, which was providing sort of a tour or some sort of a map or something that kind of shows what studios we have 
in Stonecrest, who's where, what's what, a directory, something like that, but maybe even tapping into our studio or a studio that would be interested in helping to produce it, to film it, edit it, and get it packaged for us. But I think it would be essential as we're growing to be able to offer something visual to talk about it. Patrice, you were referring to a tour for us, right, of all the um, studios? Well, first of all, we do need to have that tour as a, as a commission, yes. yes. The tour is really for the public. Not a physical tour, but a, a virtual tour, so we would produce it, and we would offer a video on, you know, on the website so they can take a look at it, to understand what we really have, what, we, what we're offering. So like a virtual idea. tour for the public, but a physical tour for the commission? The commission, because we should be well abreast of what we have. And we've done a little bit of that, but we're growing. So much has changed since we, we did that before. I think you want to, I like that idea to have something where people can say, why film in um, City of Stonecrest? Mm -hmm. What do you have there to offer? So I think that's a great idea. I do too. Uh, what kind of timeline are you looking at? To want to produce? Sometime in 2023, okay. of course. Um, but I think it would be great in conjunction with our city marketing to figure out how to go about doing it and promoting it and getting it to the right people. Good. Well, we'll definitely do that. I think it's a great idea. Thank you for that contribution. Any other things we need to discuss? And in the past, we did talk about having a, like a bus tour or something like that for people to just kind of go around City of Stonecrest, the neighborhoods, and things like that. I don't know what, if that would be still open to that. I think that'll be a great idea. Um, I'm a member of the Georgia Production Partners, and when um, the studio Pinewood opened, they um, did that for all of the members. So we actually got to see Pinewood before everybody got to see Pinewood. Okay. So we got to see the entire facilities, um, everything they had to offer. So that would be great. Um, for those who want to be in the business to kind of know what studios are available and what's here for them to use. Yeah, and talking about Pinewood, they're not a trillith, of course, we know that. But they're having a Cinegare Expo first weekend in October, so if you didn't know about it, you should definitely look, look it up. Um, I'll be attending as well. It's um, October 7th and 8th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Friday and a Saturday. Okay, great. I, I want to go back just briefly before I adjourn uh, to one of the subcommittees. Did we ever talk about membership committee where we jo start joining different organizations as a commission? Do we have a committee for that, subcommittee for that? Do we, we do? Well, I know we have a volunteer. We, we can add it. Yeah, let's add that on there. Because I want us, again, to uh, develop partnerships and collaborations with other organizations so we can move forward. Would that fall under? Yeah, is that volunteers what it is? and membership. Okay, great. Well, again, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I appreciate your contributions, your attendance, your time, and I look forward to us all working together. I now call this meeting adjourned. Good meeting, everybody. Oh.